from getting too aggressive over a simple question Would you sit down? Okay. Get down the ground. to getting schooled over basic citizen rights <laughs> And you're going to litigation, buddy. Okay, hey, you are. No problem, buddy. These five dirty cops let power get to their head, but what they weren't expecting was a reality check. Disclaimer. Our protagonist, or should I say antagonist, in this video is Officer Abel, whose track record of alleged misconduct has caught the public's watchful eye yet again. Here's how things went down. Officer Abel found himself in a bickering event with Michael Hulk, a man who dared to question Abel about his choice of facial attire, a thin blue line face mask to be exact. In the blink of an eye, things got heated and we can witness Officer Abel resorting to physical force. Get back now! Now! Behind my back, sir. I've not done anything. Yeah. I've not done anything. She has you on camera, right? Here. I don't care! All this simply because Hulk dared to question the symbolism behind the thin blue line. Did I did I commit a crime? Did I tell you to give me your ID? Ma'am, I'm on camera. Did I commit a crime? Stand in. ID for what reason? Do me a favor. ID for what bystanders and onlookers begin to voice their discontent, calling out Officer Abel for what they perceive as an unjust arrest. Meanwhile, Hulk was baffled as to what he did wrong and continued to ask the officer what crimes had he committed. I don't care. Help. Okay. Can you please tell me what I'm under no, arrest would for? Would you sit back? Okay. Get down the ground. Can you please tell me what I'm under arrest for, sir? Failure to disperse. Disperse for what reason? Failure to disperse. No. The bystanders tried to talk some sense into Officer Abel, but he really wasn't having any of it. I don't have a badge number. 3806, Abel, please walk away. Give me space. No, please keep recording. Please keep recording. Sure. We know his his sister, his father, he's a member of his community. He works at the JCC. Sir, are you sorry? You should be very careful what you're doing now. There is no reason for you to have careful what you're doing. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm saying you should be careful what you do now. Everyone witnessing this absurdity, along with the woman recording the entire interaction, couldn't believe how and why things heated up that bad. Yeah, this is embarrassing. I have it on camera. I know that I might have offended you, but that's not a crime, sir. Apparently, all the embarrassment that Abel was causing himself wasn't enough for him. He couldn't care less and then proceeded to do something way out of line. You don't have a sir, you sir, don't have probable sir, cause to go through sir, that bag. You that is illegal, sir. sir. Is illegal, it is on camera and that is illegal. Officer. Public's outrage grows as it's unveiled that Officer Abel, among the city's highest earners at over $150,000 annually, faces intensified calls for removal in a change.org petition surpassing 5,175 signatures. Unexpected police stops can sometimes be daunting, but what if your usual traffic stop turns into an allegation for being linked with narcotics? But before we get to that, on June 20th, 2021, Officer Matthew Matthew Cavender responded to a trespassing complaint at a Chevron gas station in Florida. The complaint was made by a convenience store manager against 64-year-old Timothy Grant, who was not only handicapped, but was allegedly panhandling outside their property. You never no, 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 no. You, had, you had cocaine on you, you had no, paraphernalia no, 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 on you, had marijuana on you. Yep, yep, so you, no, you didn't no. go to court, so you got to no, walk away. No, I Either stand up, either stand up, or I'm gonna place you. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just drop, that down. We'll give your bottle of water back. Okay. Well, what could they have? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. We can talk about this. Okay, come on, come on. I'm not calling anybody. Okay, come on. Can you stand or not? Okay, I can't stand. Can't stand. What could they have? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can talk to the lawyer when you're in jail. No, we're there for what? What did? I already told you you have a warrant for your arrest. What 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 what, what did I have, sir? I already told you. What? You fought with you, you've got five warrants. No, no, listen, no. I, listen. Yeah. Okay. Call my mom, sir. Okay. I got to get out. I'm going to get out. Yeah, I'm going to get out. 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 Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Stand up. Bring your legs in. Bring your legs in. Okay. Hey, okay. I just want you guys. No, come on. Stand up. Okay. 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 You just told me you could walk. You just no, said you I could can't walk. walk. I can't walk. I can't walk. Okay. What I did? What I did? Go to the ground. Yeah, what I did? What my wrist? Oh, you're walking. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What I did wrong? Come on. Are you gonna walk or not? 
Yeah, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk. What I did wrong, though? I told you, you have a war for your arrest. Wrong for my arrest. What I did? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, stop. Stop. You have a warrant for your arrest. For what? Stop resisting for what? or you're going to get tased. I, I, I asked you a question. I already told you you have a warrant for your arrest. What, what, arrest you're making what? this a lot harder. Arrest for what? You're about arrest to get tased. What? Grant straight away obliges with the officer and declares that he will stand up, but apparently this was not enough for the officer. You're going to get tased. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to get tased. Stop. What? What I did, though? Get your hands behind your back. Please, please, please. Put your hand behind your back. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, 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 Put your oh, hand behind your back. Oh, oh, Put it behind your back. Okay, what's this? What's this? Please, I think that's it. Please, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Put your hand behind your back. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Grant can be seen shrieking in agony as he bears the unjustified use of a taser, not just once, but four times. This terrible act of power abuse was reported to the higher authorities at the St. Petersburg Police Department, and it did not go well for Officer Cavender. That we ensure the community one thing, that we have a process in place here at St. Petersburg Police Department. We review every use of force report that is written by an officer. We have a process in place it worked. In this case, it definitely worked. Upon reviewing the cam footage, Chief Anthony Holloway expressed astonishment at the officer's disregard for de-escalation techniques. The supervisor saw something uh, when they were reviewing the case. They sent it to the also professional standards. It was reviewed by also professional standards. It was then sent to my level. Command staff looked at it. And yesterday afternoon, I terminated this officer from the St. Petersburg Police Department because we will not tolerate this type of behavior when we're arresting someone. Talk about getting humiliated for abusing your powers. If you thought Officer Cavender got served rightfully, wait till you find out how the next cop on our list got humbled. Are you under the influence of any narcotics or alcohol today? No, sir. Okay. Here's another cop who embarrassed himself, this time from Richland, Mississippi, where a routine traffic stop takes a bizarre turn. Meet Ian Alexander, the unsuspecting driver caught in the web of a police officer's misguided assumptions. For some reason, the officer seems convinced that he possesses an extraordinary ability to identify drug traffickers. Instead of a routine traffic stop for speeding, what unfolds is a showcase of baseless suspicion and a blatant violation of constitutional rights. Okay. Are you under the influence of any narcotics or alcohol today? No, sir. Okay. But do you keep it like pinpoint? No, that's why. I, asked. So I mean, have you taken any prescriptions things. or anything? You asked me why I was nervous. First of all, I didn't realize I was speeding. So did you get that on radar or? I paced you. I was right behind you. Actually, okay. you passed me. As, okay. as I said. I mean, it's earlier. possible because I was talking. It's and not we were possible. In a it's fact. Okay. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have just stopped you for nothing. I mean, I'm doing the speed limit and you passed me, so there's that. I mean, okay. that, that's in my line of work, that's called a clue. When I'm doing the speed limit and you pass me, that, that would be a, a very I mean, obvious I can't indicator argue of you. With you. I, I, like I said, I might have been, but I don't remember. But. Okay. okay. All right. And then you're saying about my tent, but yep. I'm pretty sure the tent's not illegal. I uh, guarantee you it is. The state law is 28%, and that's a lot darker the front than 28%. Or the back? Any window. Okay. Well, I, I just didn't know. Okay. Well, and that's and that's I mean, common. You're asking me why I'm nervous. That's because I was kind of upset. You're asking me where I'm going and where I live, and I don't think that I'm allowed. I don't have to answer that. You absolutely don't. It's just casual conversation. So, okay. do you have anything illegal in the car today? Anything no, like I said, I got a concealed carry permit. But other sure. than that, I don't have nothing illegal. Okay, so no, there's nothing. Would you mind if I look? No, you may not look. You may not look unless you have a search warrant. I don't, but okay. I'm, I'm simply asking. I mean, your, your pupils are I mean, are I can open up the trunk, I can open the doors up, but I, I don't want you to go in and look through my car okay. because it's I don't feel like I have to. And, and you absolutely don't. I'm, I'm simply, see, in my line of work, what I do is I love doing this, okay? I, lo I love working in narcotics. And you're giving off a lot of precursors that could potentially lead up to narcotics. I'm not saying that you do, and I'm not saying that you don't. You bring the dog if you don't, if you don't have anything. No, I don't have any narcotics. I don't do I, I didn't say I mean, that you did. you're flowing at the mouth. You're asking me why I'm nervous. I mean, this is ridiculous. How is Can it? I please have a witness? Do you mind coming? Okay. So there's nothing are you, illegal are in the car. Are you a supervisor? Or are you a supervisor? May I have a supervisor? I'm talking to him. Okay. There is nothing illegal in my car whatsoever. Would you like to see my supervisor? 
I mean, what's the next step? Are, are, I'm just are they going to get a ticket for uh, speeding or what? That's to be determined. I haven't made okay. up my mind yet. Okay. I'm simply asking for. I don't understand why I you're mean, getting you're so hostile with me. Because the way I'm being treated. I mean, how are you being treated? How, how do I look like I have narcotics? I didn't say you look like you had narcotics. I said you were displaying indicators. And now, just look at him making things up. There's no wonder why Ian was upset. That's, There's a few different ridiculous. ways that I can. Probable cause, okay? Which I'm just asking you for What's verbal consent. What's the probable consent. cause? Can you please explain to him what the probable cause was? I didn't was? say there was. I you just asked you if I could You said look. I had well, You're just getting defensive with me for asking common questions. All right, I'm just doing my job. I'm doing what's called a patrol investigation. Okay. Ian can do nothing but just laugh out of frustration as the cops make no sense at all. It seems like they were out to get him no matter what. I made a stop for probable cause. Can which I the probable please have cause a witness, was sir? He is a witness. Can you please come closer and listen? Okay, thank you. He's recording, I'm recording, that, I know y'all are recording. That's fine, I, as well with sure, you there are steps to go to the station and get copies and, and every, everything of this because this is ridiculous. Okay, is this your wife, girlfriend, this friend? This is my fiance, my girlfriend. Okay. And if all that wasn't enough, these cops had the audacity to ask Ian's fiance to step out of the car so they could question her. After all the stupid questioning and accomplishing nothing, the officer just issues a citation for overspeeding to Ian. Talk about wasting someone's precious time like that just to find out some dirt on them. If you thought that was outlandish, you haven't seen anything yet. Where do you see Officer Santos tasting his own medicine? <laughs> And you're going to litigation, buddy. Okay, hey, you sorry, are. Right, no right, problem, right. buddy. What happens when a police cop finally meets his match? That's right. Officer Ryan Santos thought that it was his routine stop to show off his police prowess, only to be absolutely obliterated by our well-informed citizen. Our footage starts with Officer Ryan getting absolutely word-smacked by the driver. What are you pulling me over for? Legal pullover. A legal pullover, buddy. You, you just pulled me over unconstitutionally. Do you understand that? Hey, you're speeding. I'm not speeding. You're talking about me I got speeding. a I got a fing dash cam hey, with my GPS on, listen, on listen, it, buddy. Listen, listen. You flipped me off while I'm driving down. That's the not road. illegal, buddy. We can obviously see the shift in the officer's attitude, and he immediately tones his voice down once he sees the driver is well informed. The officer tries to pull out the license and registration trick to throw the driver off, but guess what? He's having none of it. Give me your license and registration. What's my crime? I paste you. Paste me? Paste me? In front of me. Let me see your thing. Let me see your guard. Let me see your gun, buddy. You paced my me. Gun. Get out of here. Let me see your radar gun. I'm not giving you registration. You pulled me over unlawfully, sir. Santos, number 620. Yeah, Santos 620. Yeah. No, I'm not giving you license registration. You pulled me over unlawfully, buddy. Unlawful pullover. You gonna let me go to work now? No. Yeah, Give okay. Okay. I'm not giving you. Under what? If I don't, what are you gonna do? Better to identify. That's a secondary crime, dude. That's, That's a arrest, secondary right, right. crime. That's an arrestable offense. Is it? Yeah. What'd you pull me over for? I told you speeding. Give me your license. Speeding. I'm giving you my registration under threat of arrest. All right, and and your litigation, buddy. Litigation. Litigation. The driver finally produced his license and registration, but he knew how to tick off the officer and to do that well within committing any crime. Here's my license. Here's my license. Here's my registration. All right, cool. <laughs> And you're going to litigation, buddy. Okay, hey, you sorry, are. Right, right. No problem, buddy. No problem. Finally, after what felt like hours, the officer returns with a face depicting utter despair, failing to prove anything against the driver. Coward? Hey. You're a coward, buddy. You're receiving your speeding ticket. Good. Right? Give me my speeding ticket right. and get away from me. Get away I don't from need you. no more lawful directions from hey, me, buddy. Whose truck is this, though? Is your work truck? I don't answer questions. Give me my I'll ticket. I'll be in contact with your work company as well, all right, man? You go ahead and do what you need to do, yeah, buddy. Sorry. Threaten me some more. Go ahead. Threaten me hey, some more. Litigation ahead. will hey. start against you, Santos. Hey. Punk. Go ahead and fight the ticket, Yeah, all right? I will fight the ticket, yeah. yeah. Coward, punk, punk. Officer Ryan received a much-needed lesson in humility that was long overdue. Feels good, doesn't it? Guys like Officer Ryan need to learn a thing or two about humility, or else life will always humble him down. Talking about giving dirty cops a taste of their own medicine, this Texas police officer got served a heavy dose of it. The video was recorded by the daughter of Mr. Trufia. Both of them were cruising down the road when the police showed up out of the blue and accused him of something that never happened. When Mr. Trufia accuses the officer of 
stopping him because of his appearance, the cop shows him his true colors. Sir, what I think's so happening here is you're baiting, is you're looking me. at me, and you're you're judging me by appearance, and I would rather a supervisor be on here There's because no I know my rights. There's no supervisor. No, I don't have a supervisor. Okay, on. well, we're live on footage here, and That's I do okay. know at this That's point okay. that fine. unless I'm suspected of a crime, a judge just, needs hey, to sign a warrant for you to go any further than where you're going. After failing to make any case against the daughter, the officer decides to pull out a new trick from his hat. You were behind us, you pulled up, you peeked in to look at me, and then you pulled this up. Pulled. I'm sorry, it's no disrespect to you, sir. I'm telling you. That's really proper in front of your kids. Sir, okay, good try. The issue is you're not being honest, so I'm going to call you on it, sir. Not only that, but the officer keeps changing his statements. No, I don't need your ID if you give me your name, number, and sir. date of birth. That's all I need. Mr. Trufia, who is clearly not having it, is now presented with the oldest trick in the book by the Texas cops. I'm starting to lose my patience with you, sir, because you're not following the, the lawful orders I'm asking. I am, sir. And you are and you're again, using I'm bully not, tactics, no, sir, to try to get me to and violate I have no my rights. I'm opening the door and pulling you out of the car and taking you under arrest. Now, what under what grounds? I'll happily take you in front of a judge. Finally, after all the back and forth argument and understanding that he didn't have anything against Mr. Trufia, the officer hit him with a seatbelt violation warning, even though it's probably more fiction than a Marvel movie. Another lesson in the humility these officers needed so badly.